welcome back and today we're talking about Decadence episode 7 so like always let's just jump into it this episode we're diving back into the Decadence and we see Kaburagi create a new character and it's pretty much the same way that we create characters in our own games today my only question is the avatar that he got right was that like a like a clone was that like a, something that was grown specifically for an avatar reasons was it made like in a lab or something along those lines i really want to know how those gears and those avatars are made but that's beyond the point because we might not ever get the answers to that but if we ever do that would be pretty awesome but this episode we see kaburagi dive back in and of course there's a gado incursion there's like a huge hole on the decadence and the gado are getting in again this is part of the game the reason the company is doing this it seems is because the population of all the tankers is getting too big and i'm guessing it's getting to the point where they can't have as much control as they want or maybe even like the food supply something right but the company definitely wants to bring those numbers down and yeah that's definitely a big problem because we see the company is actually playing with human lives and we see that Natsume is definitely frustrated the tankers have no idea right because at the end of the day the company is using this as a game and that's definitely 100 percent not cool they're just saying that human lives are, are up for grabs and they're just meaningless they're just a video game that's definitely messed up but we see that when the gado are going in and this was my favorite moment in, in this episode for sure when natsume came in and saved all the tankers that were kind of running away i mean that moment right there was awesome because it showed all the people all the non-believers all the haters including faye that you know natsume was able to achieve her goal she's a strong person even though natsume ha still has that inner struggle saying that she's not strong even though i believe she is she's definitely better than a lot of the regular gears i think she's a little bit better than them i wouldn't say she's top level top ranker gear but i would say she's a little bit above average and you know all those people were not believing in her they she just saved their life i mean that's that's just an amazing moment i love when anime do stuff like that when when a main character literally just saves all the haters lives because they just didn't believe her i mean that that moment for me was definitely awesome now i definitely want to talk about the whole Faye and natsume conversation when natsume went to get all the butcher's help to plug the hole using all the home kits all the home repair kits and none of them really went with it at first and i was kind of frustrated because i'm a firm believer that you have to be able to help yourself before other people can help you right why should somebody help you out if you're not even willing to do the work to help yourself out you know what i mean so when Faye was talking to Natsume saying that the gears are going to be the ones that save all the tankers and stuff like that i'm like no that's not how it works yeah the gears are just playing a game of course Faye does not know that but at the end of the day the fact that she's relying on somebody else to save her that to me i just didn't like it at all because again you have to be somebody that's willing to help yourself instead of relying on other people to help you while I, while you just sit there doing nothing right we see there's a huge hole in the decadence that's putting a lot of people's lives in danger and all your answer to that is well i'm just gonna let the gears handle it because they're going to save us at the end of the day no you should definitely put the work in and fix that hole yourselves and once that event did happen once all the butchers all the the tankers came together and brought all the materials needed to fix the hole i was like okay i was relieved because that's exactly what needed to happen i'm glad they are all working together to get this problem fixed and now that brings me to my last point that i want to talk about this episode is is that what bugs are in this world right humans that actually have the the strength the fortitude the mental capacity to go against like greater odds right because we know the company is going after humans that they deem to be bugs and natsume is one of these bugs and we see that she's the one that inspired all the tankers to you know close the wall up ahead of schedule so that leads me to believe that all the bugs they probably had the possibility to gather a lot of people together maybe they're tracking some type of genetic or something that would tell them that this person potentially has the potential to gather a lot of people to their side and put up a resistance put up like a revolution or something along those lines because we see that natsume definitely has the power to do that i mean she definitely changed kaburagi and again this was another great moment i mean i felt i got goosebumps 
whenever Kaburagi finally talked to Natsume and we kind of got a hint that Natsume knows who Kaburagi is because of the way he acted when the uh, pipe jumped on him. It was a mirror image of Kaburagi. So maybe she kind of noticed there. They kind of hinted at it that she knew, but she didn't say anything. I guess she kept it to herself. But as she was talking to, the, to Kaburagi, she was breaking down saying that she was weak. A very emotional moment to the point that Kaburagi kind of, you know, he got angry. We can see that he got very angry because definitely the company, what they're doing is 100% wrong. They're playing with human lives and Kaburagi deeply deeply does care about Natsume and when he got up and said he was going to bring the system down I mean that moment it was truly a great, a great moment I mean I, I was I was having goose, goosebumps I was definitely feeling the moment and I think he has a plan they're definitely going to destroy all those gadols now this is an anime original so i'm pretty sure by the end of the 12 episodes that this is scheduled for we're going to get a nice complete story unless they do like a season two i don't know what the ratings are i don't know if he's pulling enough ratings to you know, warrant another season but so far i am enjoying the anime i like this episode a lot more than i like 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 last episode i really do like whenever they dive into decadence that's the part of the anime that i absolutely love hopefully we get more time in the game instead of outside of it but i doubt that's going to be the case because if they're going to bring a Kadol factory down of course the cyborgs the robots in that facility are going to be the ones to do it and it's, they're not going to do it from the outside inside of the decadence but yeah overall great episode let me know what you thought of this episode go ahead leave a like subscribe and i will see you on the next episode